go out and you know he wants a good sound bite but when that bell rings let's see if he means fuck no diddy no diddy <laughs> <laughs> just gotta say that you gotta get that out of the way you gotta get it out of the way what is it about him that you know like specifically because we see that obviously you know he, he doesn't rub you the right way no diddy uh, how do you think you feel about him yeah um uh, i mean he's in the way of what i'm looking to accomplish and you know i've been putting in you know 20 something years of hard work to get to this level and to you know have big goals i'm looking to accomplish and uh, you know he's in the way of that so that's all it takes for uh you know me to not like somebody you know if you're an opponent i'm not friends with people in my weight class and then on top of that you know he's been calling me a quitter and you know he's had some choice words for me so we'll see about that on saturday Obviously, we've seen that you, you bought Berlanga or EdgarBerlanga.com. We've seen you do it before with David Benavidez. It's like, whatever happened with Benavidez? Are you still on that one, too? As of now. As of now. Caleb, so you posted two days ago about uh, your revenge tour sneakers with Kobe Bryant. Can you tell me about that inspiration, what came behind it? Uh, yeah, you know, obviously, y'all know I'm a girl dad with Charlie and Aaliyah. And I just thought, you know, I may not be a girl dad, just a girl dad forever. So, um, you know, I figured it'd be a good time to, you know, get that out the way. And Kobe, he's been a huge inspiration to not just me, but I'm sure, you know, a lot of us in this room. And, um, you know, the definition of hard work and dedication and, and sacrifice and, you know, putting everything into a dream that you have. And so um, I just felt like it was, you know, good timing. And I'm inspired by my daughters. You know, I was one to make a better way for them before either of them were even here. I'm like, man, I want to put my family in a, a better place, a better spot. And then, um, so, yeah. I talked to Coach Breadman earlier uh, yesterday, and he told me that, quite frankly, you should be insulted by the challenge that McCombie presents to you. What do you say about that? Yeah, I mean, I do find it, you know, Coach Bread had a bar that, um, you know, if he was truly confident in his abilities, if he was truly confident in his skills, he wouldn't have waited until he was 28 no and 31 years old to step up in competition. And then for him to, uh, his first step up fight, it'd be against me, you know, we take that personal and uh, so we got a point to prove. Caleb. Uh, Trevor stood here uh, months ago, you know, recorded him saying that he was a quitter. I asked him when he would, uh, think he was gonna break you in this fight. He said rounds eight, nine. Yeah. How do you, uh, how do you about Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Another soundbite. <laughs> Thank you, Caleb. A couple years ago, the Mexicans were yelling at you. Now, whenever you come out, they yell for you. What do you think that says about you as a fighter, about what they think of how you did against Canelo? Um, you know, I think it just comes from, um, you know, outside of boxing, I'm a pretty quiet guy, and maybe it come off uh, standoffish or arrogant. And, um, you know, just over time, people that get to know me better, you know, I'm relaxing myself as I get older and let people, you know, get a better look at who I am and, and my life. And then on top of that, just, you know, going after the biggest challenges. You know, I think the Latino community really respects people who go after the biggest challenges and the biggest tests. And, you know, I've um, been doing that for a long time now, whether it was, you know, Jose Uskotsky, who was a world champion, um, in my 17th fight to fight for my world title and you know the list goes on you guys will, you guys know what I'm about and so I think over time just you know earn the respect of the boxing community. How does it feel to fight on Mexican Independence Weekend? Yeah I mean it feels good big weekend for boxing and I love big boxing so you know what a, what a better time than ever. Hey, I did a little Last digging one. about yesterday the the person that yelled out that was heckling you it actually was McCombie's brother yeah. uh, who admitted to it what do you say about that? Uh, well, what did he say after I told him to come up there and save my face? He showed right the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something you want to say? Yeah. 